Hey drivers, welcome back to another one. In today's video, I'd like to talk about the things I want to see come next to our favorite sim, Automobilista 2. Now the team at Ryza is a now known sim racing developer based out of Brazil. They have a staff of the whopping size of about 21. Once you rule out management, HR, and so on, you can imagine how large their actual development team really is. Despite the small size, their team packs a huge punch with consistent high quality updates to their sim racing title AMS2. They accomplish this despite the complexity of the cars, tracks, and effects that they need to consider for each and every release. Just because you change one area of code for a car or track doesn't mean inherently that it won't affect another car, track, or feature. Trying to eliminate bugs while presenting a true-to-life racing experience with almost endless variety of combos and tracks is a very difficult task. It's true Ryza did have a leg up of course, since they built their title on a pre-existing foundation called the Madness Engine by Slightly Mad Studios the creators of Project Cars 1, 2, and 3. This of course allowed them to start with a base of physics and interactions, allowing them to build on and refine the engine of the game into what we have today. However, in this process they had to fight an uphill battle to eliminate the things that people hated the most about the Madness Engine, while building new content on top of what was already there. Despite these challenges, the game is now reaching a matured status and feels quite sound. So now that we understand better what their small Ryza team is up against with each release, let's talk about what I hope they begin to focus on in the near future. So first off, the one thing that I sorely miss from Project Cars 2 is the career mode. It would be nice to see AMS2 have their own take on this feature. Many sim racers like myself race online and offline, but for those times that I'm racing offline, I'd love the ability to work through a career mode that tried to simulate the path of a driver from the karting series to F1 or GT3. Project Cars 2 simulated this very well with multiple branches you can take in your driving career. This made the replayability of the game very high as you would often start over and proceed down another branch of cars and tracks during the next time you played. One neat thing about this is that it helped the driver to experience each car and track that the developer worked so hard to create. Like Project Cars 2, AMS2 has so many options, and it's hard to decide what you will race next. And a career mode would help immensely with this. The second thing I like to see is point-to-point -point racing, including a track like Pike's Peak with some hill climb vehicles would be incredible. Also, if they can include road courses like the one in Project Cars 2, they had an amazing California highway. That was just such a fun track to sit down and relax and just drive for a little bit. I hope they include it at some point, but if they don't, that's okay. Finally, I'm sure most of us could agree, is better online racing. As much as I enjoy single player racing, I'd love to see better online racing as well. What do I mean by this? Well for starters, I'd like to see some form of ranked matches. This could bring a lot of people over to AMS2 and encourage larger online lobbies. Knowing that you will be paired up with people in your skill range makes for much better racing experiences. Also, another thing that I'd love to see is if they can make the status of each online room much more accurate. Far too often I see a lobby in qualify mode and when I enter, they are actually already racing. If there was a counter showing the time left before each phase of the room, that would be helpful. iRacing does this very well. By the way drivers, if you like this video, please smash the like button. And subscribe if you haven't already, I always appreciate the support. Also, share what you would like to see next in this game in the comments below. I am curious to hear your thoughts. This game has an amazing foundation and a lot of potential. Hopefully we will see it continue to garner support and become an even better sim racer over time. If you want to see more videos like this, please check out this playlist, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching guys, and as always, drive safe.